Hi, uh, this is Kerwin, and I'm just going to give you another video update on my cancer blog. Um, I'm feeling better now. This is June 2015, and uh, I've made made it through 14 radiation treatments and 15 or 16 chemotherapy treatments. I go in for chemotherapy now on a maintenance plan um, every two weeks. They call it maintenance because they are no longer giving me oxaliplatin, which is the chemo that causes neuropathy in your fingers and your toes and has some other side effects. And they only give that to you 12 times, and, or for me anyway, I'm only taking, getting it for 12 times. Then they take me off of that and put me on what they call a maintenance chemo. The images I've seen on the computer um, show that um, there hasn't been any really big reduction in size. I've had a lot of different tests. I had several CAT scans lately and a brain scan. The brain scan was because I was having blurred vision. I would see clearly straight in front of me, but then beyond that it was all fuzzy like a dream sequence on TV, how you know they make it all blurry around. And I'm not sure what caused that, we still don't know, but they did a brain scan to see if there was any cancer in my brain. Uh, I don't think they found anything there that was cancerous, um, but um, they said that the person said I need to have my throat checked out a little more. So I don't know exactly where at, but there's some other spot on my throat that they want to to be watching and they've never seen that before because they haven't done a scan so high up before. So anyway, we're still trying to figure out what's causing the blurred vision. It's only happened maybe four or five times and so we're investigating a couple different things concerning that. Another issue that I had was that I had chest pains right, right about here you can't see on the camera. It's a little low in my chest, right in the center of my chest, and a little bit on the right side of my chest. And those chest pains, they say it's not cancer related, but uh, my family doctor is trying to rule out everything, and he says he can't rule that out. But he thinks it's some kind of mechanical problem where I'm laying, because it's always happening at night. I'm sleeping, I'm laying on one side, and then um, uh, I wake up and I have this pain and it kind of feels, I don't know, to me it feels like it could be a heart attack or something, but it's not a heart attack, it's muscle related or it could be related to cartilage damage in my chest from an old accident or something like that one time, playing basketball or football. So anyway, we're just trying to do tests to determine all that and I've been on some extra medication pain medication because of the chest pains and I was off all pain medication for about a month and then during that month I started having those chest pains and so uh, I'm back on the pain medication to make sure it doesn't happen but I only take pain medication at night I don't take it during the day at all so I'm only taking one pain pill a day hydrocodone and then I also uh, taking something else to kind of maybe repair some damage in my esophagus um, or some kind of infection or something that, that could be causing that chest pain. So th those are the things that I've been dealing with lately. But overall I've been better, been getting better and been feeling better. I'm actually able to go out. I drive myself back and forth to the hospital. I don't need anybody to drive me. Uh, I'm still considered a stage 4 cancer patient. I have cancer in my lungs, my possibly my esophagus, someplace my trachea, my esophagus, my throat, I'm not sure where, um, my adrenal glands, my liver, um, several spots down in the lower um, midsection and the pelvic bone. The one thing I'll say about the pelvic bone is that they did, that's what they did radiation on and they also while they were shooting 
my pelvic bone, they, were, they shot radiation at my, uh, the tumor, the main tumor, it's colorectal tumor, and then there was a, some smaller spots that they hit um, close to that same area, so they hit them all at the same time. And don't ever plan to do radiation again. Uh, don't want to, but, you know, it's, uh, and they only say you can do radiation in one area of your body one time and that you can't go back and do it again later. So that would, won't be an option if uh, anything would grow in that area again. It would be, a, radiation wouldn't be an option there. In other parts of my body they could, but not where they've already shot the radiation. So um, I'm feeling much better concerning the effects of the radiation treatments and stuff. It took three or four months for the pain and stuff to go away after radiation was complete. I thought it was going to last two weeks, but it actually lasted, lasted for about three or four months. And so I, I'm pretty much over all of that, which I'm very thankful for. I don't like pain.